heard about Asteroid, we watched him buck a little while. We decided we wanted him, and that's, that's kind of where it started from. Circle T Ranch and Rodeo's best. You know, I can't say enough about him. When he goes in that buck and shoot, he means business. I mean, the, the scratching's over with then. A racehorse in there, he's just so ready for that gate to open. Asteroid on for size. It's just a 100% explosion. He's kind of an underdog. He's the little guy. And uh, so far, he's holding his own. There'll be one guy riding him, and there'll be 39 other bull riders peeking over the shoes to just get a glimpse of every step that this bull makes. Asteroid is now the center of attention and the center of the bull universe. I've always looked at it as a team effort. It's not a, it's not a I thing. It's a we thing. I've got two of the best guys in the business. That's Gene and Rick. It was just a blessing for us to find him. He taught me, if, you know, if, if you want something in life, go out there and get it. You know, if you want to be the best, work at it as hard as you can. You know, that, that's the only way to get it. And probably one of the biggest things is, is the people. You can't do it alone. And that's what it's been, teamwork here. And these two guys have really handled these bulls very well. And that's, that's one thing here at the ranch that I feel really fortunate is it's not like going to work. It's just like a family. January of last year, uh, I was diagnosed with lung cancer, liver cancer, and bone cancer. I've been fighting it for about 14 months, and my battle is almost over. Uh, I did not win the battle against cancer. At the end of the day, these bulls have taught me a lot. They've taught me patience. Uh, they've taught me not to give up. And that's been a struggle, not to give up with this battle that I'm fighting. And uh, we've all pulled together and made the decisions. Uh, and I hope that when I go, that I've touched their lives in a way that they've touched mine. Without 